I'm Jay Quinlan from the Herald. Your name Haman? Ah, Mr. Quinlan. I know your work well. Please, join me. Can I interest you in some nachos, or perhaps a blooming onion? Now, let me tell you how you fuck me. What? And how I'm going to fuck you. Okay. This conversation got off to a weird start. Once upon a time, you wrote a piece about a man on acquaintance of mine named Schultz. Do you remember that particular story? Well, I read a lot of stories. Ah, but this one was special. Schultz, the sausage stuff. Jeez, you got a great actor like John Reese davies and I can't hear him because the music is so loud. Schultz was a meatpacker who had the ingenious idea of using the discarded intestines of various and sundry bovines to transport, shall we say, in illicit pharmaceuticals. And you knew the man? Well, Mr. Quillen, I do like meat. Schultz was a meatpacker, a butcher, a bovine. I owe Mr. Schultz. When your story revealed exactly how bad sausage was for the health of the citizenry, Mr. Schultz was out of business. Oh, hey, 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 chill, chill. I was out of business. I know this is a bad time to bring it up, but I knew the last guy who sat in that chair, and you probably don't want to eat off that table. And you followed for three months when I considered my options. Is this a bad time because I can always come back. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now for the fun part. This is where I get to tell you how I'm going to fuck you. Will there be actual fucking involved? Very amusing, Mr. Quinlan, but I don't think you understand. You see, I own you. I'm uncomfortable. Instead of killing you, I decided that I should rather own the reporter. That way I might better avoid future, shall we say, disadvantageous. Own me. Could you claim me as a dependent? What'd you have in that teacup, anyway? Well, for all intents and purposes, your ass, my boy. You're a weird dude. You couldn't print anything on me if you wanted to. You're digging in the wrong place. Excuse me. How well do you know Mr. Dodds? Ben Dodds? What, what, what's he have to do with this? It was a dark and stormy night, Mr. Quinn. Young woman was sobbing before the desk of her father. The father was the city's most respected editor, one Benjamin Dodds. The woman should have been shedding tears of joy. She had just won national acclaim for a brilliant expose on the city's fledgling mayor. Eventually, it led to his expulsion. But on that particular evening, she was crying because her father had just discovered that her story was based on research that never took place. Sources that didn't exist. You're lying. On the contrary, Ben Dodds is... Has anyone seen our waitress? The service is terrible. You see, he managed to hush the whole affair. Not a word of retraction or correction ever saw. I'm sorry, I can't hear you! Not even when the ex-mayor subsequently killed himself. What? A story that the Herald did write. Now, how do you think the world would react, Mr. Quinlan, should it be discovered that the respected Ben Dodds held by his peers as the paradigm of journalistic integrity had actually perpetrated an untrue story that resulted in a man's death and did so as an act of nepotism. Then I guess we have an understanding. I won't print anything about you. Yes, jolly good show, Mr. Quinlan. <laughs> now the fucking begins. Holy crap, his legs are gone! Look, he's just a floating torso, it's weird! I've been in Berman's well at Pan Financial. I've seen the documents. I know you own Berman. Very well. I own Berman. I'm an enterprising man. Yeah, well, well, crap, I thought you'd be really surprised and shocked that I uncovered that. That's no fun. Do you know Burton? Should I know the man? Burton's a woman. You knew that. Yes, and here's me, Mr. Quinlan, not caring. Hey, where'd he get a new tea set? I thought he threw it across the room. You're lying about knowing Burton. I've got the documents to prove it. You can prove that I know the woman. That's hardly a criminal offense. You're funding illegal monkey research, you bastard! What was the name of the monkey in the bed next to you when Burton was treating you? How much do you want, Mr. Quinn? I want information, not money. I know that you and Burton have something cooking. I want to know what she's selling to you and what she's doing with the money. I suggest you take the money, Mr. Quinlan. It 
you know as much as you say you do, then you are a threat. And I shall have to kill you. So you can either be a smart man, Mr. Quillen, and have my money, or my axe. I kind of wish there was an option to challenge him to a game of pinball for the answers. I've got a better killer than you stalking me. I'm going to nail the river. Nothing else matters. Ripper. Is that what this is about? Nasty business, even by my standards. Very well. Dr. Burton supplies me with empathic death resonances that I then duplicate and sell on the black market at immense profit. As for the money I pay her, I couldn't care less what she does with it. Death resonances. Yes, Mr. Quinlan, people love to download the screams of dying monkeys. Why do you think Mariah Carey is so popular? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Quinlan. One more thing. Whatever became of Schultz? Why, I ate him, of course! Suffice it to say that I should avoid this establishment's problems. Oh, and I'd also avoid the clam chowder, but for entirely different reasons. Quinlan! What the hell happened? Mendelssohn called from the precinct house. He said Magnata picked you up, is that right? That's right. And he was none too friendly. I think he bruised his knuckles on my jaw. I've got our lawyers on this. If he tries to intimidate you again, he'll have a whole world of trouble. Is there anything else I should know about? Well, don't have the hot dogs at the Café du Champ. Have it on good authority. Do you know a Vigo Haman? Hmm. He's a player with the mob. He's supposed to be affiliated with the Andalina family, but the word on the street is that he freelances. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a freelance gangster. Someone tried to kill Covington Wofford. I managed to stop it. Got off a shot and nailed the intruder in the shoulder. Had to be the Ripper. Why would he try to kill Covington Wofford? To finish the job. I think he killed Hamilton. Yeah, but why do you use a knife instead of making him explode like everyone else? Hamilton was shot in the head. The Ripper uses a blade. I think there's a lot more to this Ripper than hack and slash. No, that's pretty much all he does. Yeah. What do you know about Catherine's past? I don't know. You were sleeping with her. <laughs> Didn't you two ever talk? Checkmate. Well, we haven't gotten to that part yet. She came over from the Inquirer in Philly. Philly? She told me she was from L.A. No, no, no. I'm sure she told me Philly. Her resume was scanty, but her clips were good. Now face it, Jake. She played you like the claw machine at a bowling alley. Ben, this Ripper case is giving me the fits. How would you cover it? Uh, join the Nintendo Fun Club! Say, in my day, uh, cops were a lot more cooperative, but since they've gone over to this bounty system, they're stingier than ever. Don't want anybody to get that reward. But all things considered, I'd say you're doing a hell of a job. By the way, you planning on writing anything? Ripper's still out there, isn't he? You are a reporter, Quinlan, not a detective. Someone's got to stop this lunatic. So, uh, you know anyone? I'd tell you to stay out of it, but it wouldn't do any good, would it? Just don't get yourself killed. Vigo Haman says he's got some dirt on your daughter. Is it true? He also said something about fucking me and my ass in teacups. I don't know. What did he tell you? Something about her running a bad story. And you covering up for her. It's not true, is it, Ben? Do 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 boom boom. She was my daughter, Quinlan. Jesus, Ben. I've got this story. If I run it, he's gonna go public. What are you gonna do? Oh, hang on, gotta let a train drive through this pause. Ding 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 Run the damn thing. The hell with it. I'm getting too old for this newspaper bullshit. Well, look who's back. You promised I'd be in the paper. I was expecting page one. At least the sports page. Cop KO's penhead in first round. How's your face, asshole? Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. He just reached over with his right arm, but somehow that hurt his left one. What's wrong with your shoulder? I've been gesturing too much. Everything's a clue to you, Quinlan. I was interrogating a suspect. I didn't go easy on him, like I did with you. I started stabbing myself repeatedly in the shoulder just to prove how much tougher I was than him. 
You know, I know about that Ripper game. All right, what do you want, a Pulitzer? I suspect Eddie and Burton as much as I suspect you. You think I don't lie awake all night wondering why I can't cage this criminal? On top of that, I could end up being the next one with my guts spilled on the floor. Why didn't you come clean with me in the first place? With you and 10 million readers. With you? Yeah. We could have a real intimate relationship. Uh, that's great, but uh, I, I just sort of think of you as a friend, you know? In fact, not even as a threat, more like a guy who beats me savagely. Why don't you give me your version of the last Ripper game? Don't jerk me around, Quinlan. You know what happened. We used to play a Jack the Ripper game. Jack the Ripper game. Somebody got killed. A woman named Josie Dawson. I busted Eddie for it. Yeah, but I heard the evidence was a little shaky Eddie walked, didn't he? Uh, what's your point, Quinlan? My point is that from this and everything else that's been happening, I think you know a little bit more about the Ripper than you're letting on. You don't have a clue, do you? You're not smart enough to be a suspect. This guy is a genius. Let me tell you about this guy. It took him years to perfect it. Now he's gonna savor it. It's not just the killing he's into. He's into the power, the intimacy of going inside while the heart still pumps. He's into feeling the skin, tight like a canvas, and a warm blood spraying, leaving masterpieces for us to wonder at. And he's gonna go on and on, creating masterpieces, unless I stop him. Oh, you gotta give it up for walking. Come on, give it up. Christopher Walken, everyone. Because I know what drives him to it. So don't you dare think you understand that killer. Or me. The Ripper's art is death, and he's about to paint his masterpiece. You know, I found out more about Burton's secret lab. Why don't you worry about your own problems, Quinlan? Another 48 hours, I'll have enough to lock you up. Can't you keep two suspects in your mind at the same time? Look at the facts, Magnata. Harley said that the Ripper's killing in cyberspace. Burton is killing monkeys in cyberspace. She's laundering money through an operation fronted by a, a suspected killer, this Haman guy, someone you've been after for years. And she's obstructing any effort to rebuild Catherine's memory of the killer. Now, take a look at that picture. Do I need to adjust the focus just a little bit more? Scientists off monkeys all the time. Everyone does it. Shady finances doesn't mean she's a killer. Look, it's not like she was alone with three of the victims when they were attacked. <laughs> Unlike some people I could mention. Well, it's good to see they've moved past the whole threatening with a knife incident. What are you doing? Making waffles. What does it look like? Hurt my shoulder. Had a throw every day or I lose the touch. For a guy who spent two years locked up, I'm a little surprised he decorated his room like a prison shower. Yeah, keep practicing. Your grouping's not very good. How'd you hurt your shoulder? What? Oh, Jesus. How did you I was hurt- playing with myself. What do you think? I was throwing knives. I threw it out of whack. Recurring injury. No big deal. Yeah, and let me guess, uh, Dr. Burton's come down with a real savage case of tennis elbow too, right? What's with this murder in that last Ripper game? Somebody slipped something into the game code that killed her. Because I was the game master, I took the fall. This is a weird sequel to Mazes and Monsters. I rotted two years in fucking prison. Until my lawyer got him to overturn the conviction. Seems the police held out some evidence. Right about the time Magnata got promoted to detective. It's interesting stuff for an investigative reporter, don't you think, Quinlan? I'm more disturbed by the fact that in the future, everyone seems to own exactly one outfit. Now, why would Magnata frame you? To bust up my marriage. He couldn't handle that I won Claire, and he didn't. And I was sleeping with her every night, doing it with her every night. I like to picture Marion having sex, but the mental image of him being there really ruins it. What did Claire do? Everything. Doggy style, wheelbarrow. I'll tell you what she did. The nail, cowgirl. She deserted me. <laughs> you had to slip the divorce papers through the bars of my cell. So she's available. <laughs> Sad. What do you know about Josie Dorset? Barely knew the girl. That was a long time ago. But apparently it's fresh for somebody. I mean, it's got to be the same person. No shit. And guess who's on the short list? That son of a bitch is gonna kill everybody that played that game. Must have been a really bad GM. And it all started with Josie. Yeah, so what? So who was she? I hardly even knew the fucking girl. She was just some chick that was into the Ripper shit like the rest of us. 
All I remember is that she talked a lot. In a horrible Cockney accent. Never stopped. Hello, Governor. Went on and on about that daughter of hers. Drove me nuts. I have no idea why anybody would off her. Claire knew her better than I did. You know, I do still like this better than From Hell. So who do you think really committed the murder? It had to be Magnata. No one else had the know-how to pull up something like this. I just can't see Walken trying to talk like an Englishman. Call blimey, governor! You know, Eddie, you're the most likely suspect. You think so? Well, it's either you, a cop, or a respected surgeon. Or hyper-intelligent murder monkeys. Looks bad, don't it? You got the temperament. I'm a nasty guy. And the expertise. The knives. Don't forget the knives. Yeah. Looks pretty bad. You know, you could just ask to see his shoulder. Might help. I must confront the monkey witch. Not now. I got some questions and I want some answers. Don't you want to prove you're not the Ripper? Oh, so that's the game. If I don't answer, you make me look bad in public, huh? Something like that. Spill it, Burton! What day is the monkey revolt? Tell me where the bomb is! You have five minutes. Yeah, screw that. I'd put her ass in a hammerlock, sit her down, and force her to make a cure for the monkey virus. I want to know more about this secret lab of yours. Haven't we been through this? Not all of it. I've been digging through some pan financial accounts. Do Simeon Industries or Berman Limited mean anything to you? Been talking to your editor, have you? What did Mr. Dodds tell you? That he was JFK. Dodds? I mean, what's he got to do with this? Dodds didn't tell you. Wow, an honest reporter, that's a first. I went to Pan Financial for research funding. They gave me a grant, but it came with a price. My research involved translating brain images directly into audio and video output. The bank wanted me to create a program that would allow them to implant subliminal messages into targeted brains while they were interfacing with cyberspace. Like drink coke. I started thinking that with a few minor adjustments, there were other things the program could do to a human brain. Other things that it could make a person do. Like make them blow up? Of course! Don't you know anything about science? That's just one more reason I'm going to shut down this whole operation. Are you working with the cops? Pan Financial owns the cops. Your editor's gonna break the story in the Herald. The headline will be walking monkey bombs. What really worries me is that I think someone broke into my research well a few months ago and may have stolen my notes. Well, oh, you think the Ripper did it? No, I think Ryan Seacrest did it. Yes, I think the Ripper did it! If he used my notes to construct his murder weapon, I'm as guilty as he is. I agree, so turn yourself in! What happened in that last Ripper game 15 years ago? I don't know. What happened so quickly? We heard Josie Dorset scream. When we found her, she was dead. And nobody in the group could res. First, we thought Joey had introduced something new into the game. But she really was dead. Well, Frank, when you're playing against Jack the Ripper, sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. Yeah! Why would someone want Josie dead? I think the killer thought she was... me. Well, how do you figure? Because right before the game started, Josie and I switched parts. It should have been me who was killed. Well, why would someone want to kill you? I don't know. Oh, I could take a few guesses. Maybe because I've had trouble with men. Why, you mean like the way you collect broken hearts like a windshield collects bugs? Yeah, I get that. Do you think the person that killed Josie is our Ripper? Well, there's obviously some connection. Even in your office you're wearing a stethoscope. Why do you need it? What purpose does it serve? I must know! Who do you think did it? Who's left? Magnata or Joey? They're both crazy. I'm next on the list. I hope so. And I can't even go to the cops unless I have some evidence on one of those two. But I'm not going to just wait to be slaughtered. But you realize, Doctor, that from where I stand, you're just as much a suspect as those two. I realize that. So go stand somewhere else. That really doesn't make any sense, no. If the Ripper is killing from cyberspace, how could Catherine have survived? That's a mystery in itself. If the Ripper was striking long distance for the first time, then he may have made a mistake. Also, your girlfriend has abnormally strong psychic defenses. Yeah, I've noticed that. In a psychic sense, she may have fought the Ripper off before he could kill her. 
Hit her, Quinlan! Punch her in the shoulder! She's wounded! You know, I know all about this fatal game, but what I want to know is why you framed Falconetti. Oh, hey! Trick question, huh? I answer it, it's like I admit I framed the piece of shit. Well, Falconetti makes a convincing case. Yeah? Not as convincing as this. Let me show you something. While you were making headlines, I was catching our killer. I got the son of a bitch locked up downstairs. Look familiar? What is it? This is a sketch of Daffy Duck. Falconetti's the Ripper. Where'd you get this? I didn't trust Burton. I had Department Angel's patch deck into Catherine's mind. Upload everything on the Ripper. They came up with our killer, case closed. Why wouldn't you trust Burton? I mean, she hates Eddie. You buy that act? He's always had a hold on her. Oh yeah, yeah, the passion just smolders across the screen, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah! I can see. Walken just took uh, Falcon Eddie's driver's license photo and then smeared some red shit on it with Photoshop. That's good. Doc, what do you think of this image of Eddie as the Ripper? Good lord, how did you get this? Magnata says the cop Data Angels produced it. I'm not really sure if I could trust them. Could they have done something like this? I suppose. They had a couple of officers decked into Catherine's brand, so it's possible. It certainly looks real. Yeah, except for the fact that it looks nothing like the previous photos we've seen up to now. Yeah. Ah, there. See? This photo clearly proves that the Ripper is Splosion Man. Take a look at this. What's this? Magnata says Falcon Eddie's the Ripper. Says the cop angels put this together. The police did it before us? No way. Use your head, Quinlan. How'd they get access? Yeah, well, Magnata's got Falcon Eddie in jail, and he's gonna hang him with this. I mean, fine by me if he's the killer, but what if he's not? There must be some photo processor or something at the newspaper that could tell you if this thing is real. Well, I don't know anything about image analysis. Well, Nosey, you better find out. Or an innocent man will die, and the Ripper will still be free. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go to a major newspaper to find some photo manipulation software. It's not like you can just download that anywhere for anyone to use. I mean, this is the future, but it's not that far in the future. <gasps> it's the swirling blue thing version 2.0! Okay, let's load this some bitch, analyze it. Any idiot could do this. Wow, it's really easy. Wow, Magnata used a lot of adjustment layers. I would have been much more efficient. Well, yeah, it's fake, but it's still a hell of a lot better than the first attempt, where he just tried to Photoshop Falconetti's head on that picture of a chimpanzee on the toilet. I know this image of Eddie is a fake. You full of shit, Quinlan. I had a half a dozen angels work on our girl's head with Tanaka Synopticons. I ran it through an imaging program. Came up with seven instances of image falsification. So I bent the rules a little. It's only incredibly unethical. I don't think you bent the rules. I think I heard him snap. I'll rewrite the damn rules if that's what it takes to nail Eddie. Well, if it's another frame job, I'm gonna have to run it in the Herald. Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> Not the Herald. <laughs> what is that? It's cute. Cute. You're gonna need all that cute stuff when I run my story. Because with no badge and no bounty, you're gonna need something. Oh, no! A front page story is probably gonna free Eddie. And it's gonna cost you a shot at the Ripper bounty and probably cost you your badge. So fuck like you. Thinks he has me by the balls. By the balls. All right, Quinlan. You wanna quit a bust? Fine. We were all having fun, and then you just had to go and ruin it. He's out. It's on your conscience. It strikes again. One question Walken never had to ask while on set is, what should I be doing with my hands? So, Magnata tried to frame you with the picture. I hate owing people a favor. I guess I owe you one. So does that clear me? Well, I'm not too sure, Eddie. See, this frame job makes Magnata look bad, too. I mean, either one of you could be the Ripper. So until I know, why don't we all just play it by the book? The book? There was a book? Could, could I have that book? Quinlan, it's Cable. Something's come together in Catherine's mind. The image of the Ripper's become clear. Get over here, fast. We're about to learn who our Ripper is. Well, if it's another frame job, I'm gonna have to run it in the Herald. No, please don't. Not the Herald.